Hello everybody, we are live with the new Hyundai Santa Cruz. Jacob was just telling everyone on Instagram to come check it out. So we are, I guess, do you want to have the chat up on yours? Yep. Or we don't have to. No, let's just, you, you just okay, the let's go. Okay, Jacob, move out of the way. Everyone take a look. This is the business end, this is the business end of the new Hyundai Santa Cruz uh, pickup truck slash SUV slash activity crossover. So let's move over to the front and show you this new front end. Just, yeah, so we already reviewed a Tucson, which is coming, and this is very similar. It's got the same style front end. Jacob's gonna hit you guys with the headlights. Let's see, where are they? Boom, at the bottom, and then it dulls these ones. So we wanna run it in daytime running light mode. Yes, this is the Subaru Baja um, of the future. It's actually got a ton of room, so the bed is not even that small. That's off. That's the whole car off. What is the ground clearance? Probably just enough. I think this is more of a SUV that's for people who have like wet camera gear, or not wet camera gear, like wet surfing gear. Let's show them the business end. Jacob wants to show you the business end. Look at this, first of all. Okay, first of all, we have a cover back here. So apparently this is segment exclusive, and I believe that because I've never seen a hard cover be included from the factory and this is like pretty hard and this is water resistant down here so so we've got a tailgate, so we've got a tailgate damped jacob it's got a little cup holder thing this is his impression of having a drink pista uh pista resistance jacob says you push that switch and it slides all the way back on its own and then you can close it now we got a pickup truck now we got a pickup truck just like my raptor just ah. like just like his raptor okay and then Ooh. Check this out, we got a plug over here. We have a plug for electricity. Yeah. That is very, very nice. Okay, let's show them how much room there is back here. Jacob, I'm gonna lie down and you can. Okay. And let's... I'm five foot eight and a half. Here's the five foot eight and a half reference. Don't worry guys, I had to get the Raptor reference in there. Okay, Yuri almost fits. Can you get your head even farther in? I think you can get your foot. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. So that's how long the bed is including this, which is the tailgate. Yeah. Here, let's make Yuri disappear. Uh, locked in there, and uh, see you later, Yuri. Okay, now it's the Jacob review. He's gone. <laughs> Can you open it from inside? You could not be kidnapped easily in one of these. Perfect. Okay, next cool thing is this has stops. So, well, there's somewhere. You put it in and then you change that. And now you can lock it in, in a different place. So I guess if you put a dog in here and the dog likes to uh, have his head out, but yeah. he wants to chill outside. I don't know if that's the thing uh, you're allowed to do. I definitely wouldn't put my dog back here, but I definitely put stuff back here. And no, it's not a real truck. I know you guys are complaining about that, but it's, it's definitely like a trucklet, like a Subaru Baja. Oh yeah, lawnmower for sure. Yo, if you have a landscaping business and you don't need like heavy duty equipment, you just got lawnmowers. Okay, Yuri, show them the party trick over here. Guys, we're not done with this. Look at that. Just like a Honda Ridgeline, which is the same idea. And then we have uh, plugs over here. So you can actually drain this just like a uh, Honda Ridgeline and all those other cars. Actually, a kidnap release here in this. So you can fit a baby you could probably fit a like a six-year-old and then they can actually escape i didn't realize that was the right size yeah because it's a certain cubic size that to get out of. right yeah exactly obviously don't kidnap people yeah it is like a ute this is kind of like a honda ridgeline ute but it's also hyundai is not releasing the pricing yet but it's going to be cheaper like it just has to be because this is much smaller okay there we go show them the, the string yeah oh yeah show them the string okay so so this is how you unlatch this to close it and now you got to do that oh it's not it, it didn't lock there and just so you guys know this is a pre-production unit um so it's definitely early on but it's a pretty good one look at the exhaust that's cool you want to give a rev? that's not even is that the exhaust what is that oh yeah that is that looks crazy are we getting any super chats we don't really get super chats we got one but i missed it but it was a while ago uh, let's see if I can scroll back that far. Sorry guys, it's hard to do. Oh, when will the Hyundai Kona N come?
come. And congratulations to both of you and your dad and Jacob, your Ford Fiesta is dope. Well, thank you, Gagging Deep. Um, when will the Hyundai Kona N? I think the Kona N is coming sometime this year. Okay. And this thing is coming later this summer. So this is a 2022, but it is coming this year. Taillights? Yeah, show them the taillights. They're like arrows. That's yeah, kind of... another super chat that I'm doing there. That is kind of cool. Hi, guys. Hoovy's Garage. Oh, yo, what up, Hoovy? Oh, uh, Hoovy. Hoovy. So here's uh, what everybody else probably wants to know is the horsepower and torque. So Wait, wait, wait. I got to say it. Oh, yeah. Horsepower and torque. Let me look it up. But let me let me just guess because I think I remember. 287, 311? 281. And 311 from a two and a half liter four cylinder turbo. Yes, it's not a V6, it's a four cylinder turbo, which is the same engine that is in the uh, Sonata N line, which, which was really drove. fast. Yes, and that was quite quick, but it had so much torque steer because it was front wheel drive and this is all wheel drive. So this is actually going to be pretty decently quick because it's not a big car. Okay, Magic Bus says hi from Montreal. Hello, Magic Bus. Um, okay, so taillights are pretty cool. They're like an arrow. Hun Hyundai always kills the taillight game, so I'm stoked like on that. Okay, Jay was gonna flash the taillights so you can see what it looks like. Wow. What does that look like? Oh. Oh, that's a it's, it's okay. And then, and then Fixie Clary says, I had been waiting to see the Santa Cruz. Awesome. Put on the reverse lights. I wanna see where they show up. If it's at the top or the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. Not our favorite, but it'll do. Okay, Jacob, more stuff back here. Let's show them how to access the trunk by with our steps. You'll rev it? Okay, Jacob's gonna rev it. It doesn't sound like anything. No, it's not kind of. It's not supposed to. <laughs> okay, someone wants to see the interior. We will get there. Right let's now? no, no. Let's do the body lines. Okay, so we got a triangle, obviously. we have one little triangle, which I feel like was an afterthought because this is from the Santa Cruz concept from before, that had the old Hyundai front end, and this has the new Hyundai front end. That's a step. Jacob, show the step. Wow. Great job. And then we've got these little notches on the fender flares or the fender rockers. What are those called? Fender, uh, fender arches? Yeah, I would call them arches. Okay, we got this just like an Evoque, right? <laughs> yeah, except look, there's no back half. And it's like a little Santa Cruz um, Easter egg, kind of like Jeep has. Oh, here's another one here, right up here. There's little things like that kind of everywhere that we've seen so far, which is really cool. It won't compete. Yeah, no, this, this is like competing. This is a new segment. This it's, doesn't compete against anything. Because because they were saying there's so many SUVs already that like, what do you do to differentiate yourself? It's like kind of make a pickup trucky one. Yeah. It's like, it's like a Tucson with a trunk. Yeah. It's exactly like Tucson with a bed. Yeah, but this is true. It's, it's also a trunk if it's closed. Yeah, and it's hard. So yeah. Theoretically, it's pretty safe. Okay, looks wise, we got this cool little uh, rear spoiler wing thing. We got a little rear window, just like most pickup trucks have. So small. Um, what other body stuff? There's, there's no side it's, steps. So no, so no side steps, but it's four door, which is cool. Uh, wheels. Yeah, wheels are cool. They're cool. Uh, what's the what's the Continental recommended tire? I'd probably put a. Let's go with a Terrain Contact HT. An HT. Terrain Contact HT. Yo, help me cover these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that looks better. <laughs> hey, let me see your jacket. Oh, yeah, Bra brought to you by <laughs> Continental, just so you guys know. Pop the hood. Do we have enough front end stuff? Black integrated badge. That's cool. It's not a, it's not a dual badge, like a Supra. Like a Supra. Here we go. It's not powered. You gotta do it manually. Smart Stream 6G. Smart Stream <laughs> G. <laughs> Turbo. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an engine of a car. Yeah. So if you got an end line, you could probably put your end line performance parts on here. Maybe. Also it's pre-prod, so. Pre-prod, yeah. And then, okay, what's cool you'll notice is that the paint on the front bumper kind of ends right here. So it's just kind of like coming in from the side. So that that is kind of cool. And I think on the Tucson, it was more body painted at the bottom. And it's cool that this is that black chrome kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's where the license plate's gonna go. I think that'll fit nicely. It won't take up any of the grill. That's this will also have all the highway driving stuff. Yeah, yeah. Option. Highway driving stuff. All right. Let's uh, interior. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's. Can you show the blinkers on? Someone wants the blinkers on from the front. Oh, that's cool. Is it different than the Tucson? Hi, from Renfrew, Ontario. Hello, Renfrew. 
vent through. That's cool, eh? Yeah, I guess so. Someone wants to know how much ground clearance. Well, that's a good question. I'm going to say more than a Tucson, but I don't know the actual answer. How much more ground clearance than a Tucson? Or is it the ground same? Ground clearance, how much more than a Tucson? I'll have to, I'll have to look it up for you guys. Okay. Give it to you. We don't know, guys. Sorry. I could definitely drive over my Hyundai hat that I bought when I was at the factory in Alabama. All right. I got it because, like... How many green hats are there? Not many. Okay, interior. So it is very Tucson in here. Yes. Close, close your door just so I can. How's that look? Jacob in the front and check the back seat space. We already did that, but we'll do it okay. for real. This is your driving position? I already put myself in my driving position, so I'm good. Like, my knees are pretty scooped out here. Here, here, you just show them this. Look, they actually scooped it out for my knee, which is really nice. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so this is sitting behind myself. Just enough, eh? Actually, legitimately, I'm actually comfortable. Like, so somebody wants a visor test. We'll get you one. You super chatted. Okay, and then um, down here, if we pull this, yep. it, since it's a kind of a truck. Jack's here. Uh, someone says hello from Guelph. Thoughts on thoughts versus the Ford Maverick. Uh, I, I don't. No idea because it hasn't come out. I've seen the spy shots. I. It doesn't. Spy it, shots. This looks cool. It doesn't exist until we do a live stream of it. Yeah. So Ford, uh, let us know. Uh, someone wants to know what size tires are on it. Oh, by the way, look at that. And then that goes up as well. Here, show them quick, and then I'll do the tires. There we go. Truck. Oh, here's the license plate bracket. So we can actually look at what it's going to look like. Okay, these are 245, 50, 20s. Perfect. Somebody wants us to cliche corner it, but we can't drive it. Pretty, Pretty ingenious car could be a trendsetter for people that want a bit more than an SUV. Any news on the BMW i4? No news, but yeah, I think if you're like surfing the Great Lakes in Ontario yeah. or uh, doing like mountain biking and stuff, it's good because then you can pile your stuff in that little section in the back. Um, and it's definitely cooler than everything else on the road right now, especially looks wise. And these don't fold at all. <clears throat> no. So we have child tethers. Uh, there's one up here, obviously. And then we have the anchors down here. So yes, child seats will fit back here. We got USB ports down here. They are still old school, which is interesting. They're uh, USB A. Okay, somebody wants a horn check, but first, look, we have cup holders here in the back. Okay, but we also have gloss black, and I don't, I don't like how much gloss black. Yeah, yeah, the gloss Sir, black is no good. Cup? We don't like the gloss black. No, no piano black. It's supposed to be more rugged. Okay, it's 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 half adventure, half adventure, half luxury. Okay, give me a honk. Oh, that was a 10 out of 10 honk. Eight mils higher. Eight mils higher. Okay. The ground clearance is eight millimeters higher, which is a centimeter-ish. Eight, mil eight millimeters higher ground clearance. Okay. That's not much. <laughs> that's really not much. Okay. Hold on. Someone else said something. Uh, how much? How drag much? race versus the Raptor. This would probably win. No. I'm kind of nervous though. <laughs> yes. Like if a, <laughs> if, if, if a Sonata it. end line would beat my Prowler, then this would beat. Also, in my driving position, I feel like this is going to hit me. Look, look. Oh. Yeah. That, I haven't had that problem yet. But okay, okay. Everyone, count it down. I need a whole bunch of threes. I'm gonna wait till there's a countdown. And then I need a whole bunch of twos. And then I need a whole bunch of ones. Okay, I'm getting some threes. Okay. Come on, more threes, guys, more threes. And now let's get to the twos. Come on, let's see those twos. No, I'm not at the twos yet. We're still at the threes. Still at the threes, okay. Come on, twos, guys. And there's break, there's some lag. Uh, I feel like the chat's lagging. Uh -oh. All right, just hit him with it. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, yeah. Good job, honey. Perfect. It goes all the way past it. So yeah. Maybe that's why, because look at this. Interesting problem. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then we got one. Uh, let me get out. I think maybe I'm losing reception in here. Okay. Unless you want to take over. I'll take over. You've done a great job so far. Okay, so I we have a... I don't know if there's reception in there or not. We have a four-spoke steering wheel. 
Okay. Oh, maybe everyone was spamming, so everyone got banned because they were spamming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that visor test. So we do have a four-spoke steering wheel, just like we did on the, the Tucson. And the Elantra. Yep. Except this doesn't have the line that goes across that blends perfectly with the steering wheel. Right. Uh, we also have these new style gauges, which you guys will see on our upcoming Tucson review. Uh, so they do smooth, change. Smooth, no lag. Yeah. And then I assume this will have this. Yep. So we have the uh, turn signal camera things. Ooh, Timmy run with the Santa Cruz. Oh, we're not actually allowed to drive this, guys, but thank you for that and, donation. And then unlike everybody in the USA, when you look here, all of their videos had a Tucson. This has a Santa Cruz. There you go. So this is later stages the in... advanced Santa Cruz ever. Yes. Later stages in production, which okay, is cool. These seats. Seats this are very comfortable. Is, this is nice. I don't know if it's comfortable or not. But yeah. Cool. Not sure. I mean, your back's never going to touch that, so I guess that's okay. Yeah. Um... How fast does it go? Uh, okay, so this has 281 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque. So we don't know zero to 60 or anything like that, but pretty decent. Heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel right here, which is... I yeah, don't really want in gloss black. Exactly. I want an adventure car. There's just too much gloss black. Oh, okay. Here's some stuff I just noticed. So we have our drive modes right here. So they change over here like we showed you earlier. But it's just, it's just drive modes right now. if we go to terrain... Then I believe Canada, oh, I can't show you because it's pretty proud, but I believe it's a Canadian exclusive. Oh, there we go. That we have terrain modes. So we have like mud, snow, and sand, yeah. which I don't think USA gets, and which is interesting. Hill descent assist, and then we have the parking camera. So we have all the cool angles that I love from all Here, my. Let me close my door. From all my Hyundai Kia Genesis's. Check this out. Oh, here, put your foot on the, on the brake. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll put it into drive, and then. Look, I can see what my front wheel is doing. How sweet is that? I don't want to tear up their grass, but oh, look yeah. at that. That's like the best for parking. And then if you put it in reverse, then you can see the back as well. Can it do a that. burnout? I'm going to go with no because it's all-wheel drive. Okay, infotainment-wise, it's pretty much the same one from everything else. We've got the star button. From the Tucson, that video is coming out very soon, so you'll see all about that. Wireless charger. Oh, that's nice. Cups, Cup holders look like they'll fit a cup just fine. Interesting that they're still giving USB-A. What else we got? Oh, that's normal. normal. Nothing in there. Uh, people are asking how much can it tow? So let's go 5, back 5, outside. Pounds. Yeah, so it can tow uh, 5,000 pounds, which is, yeah, it's 5,000, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, here's the business end in case you guys are tuning in late. Oh, damn, we got like 2,000 people on here. That's quite a bit. Yo, what's up, 2,000 people? Yo, Yuri, show the new 2,000 people whoever joined. Show them the business end back here. Uh, you got somebody said they want to see Yuri or Jacob lay in the bed. So we've already done that, but Yuri will do it again as I just volunteered him. Lie in the bed? Yeah. They want to see uh, you in it with the uh, length. I'll go the other way this time. Okay. So here's one Yuri at five foot eight and a half. Uh, yeah, I mean, any any truck kind of thing, accessory you can usually get. And for those of you guys that missed it, there's a power port in here so you can charge your stuff. And there's also storage on both sides so you can put more stuff. Yeah, we got little lights back here, which but is you, nice. You're going to want to put all your junk here. Yep. And this is uh, damped and like whatever. All that yes, stuff. the bed is short, but that's because this whole thing is short. Yeah, you can do that. When does this go on sale? This goes on sale uh, later this year in probably about August or September. So the end of uh, Q3, probably the third quarter. If you don't know what Q3 means. How long until somebody makes uh, a Ford Raptor style grill for the front where it just says Hyundai? Uh, probably like, I'm going to give it uh, maybe say, July. Maybe I'll say cruise. The, like, literally the first month it's on sale. Isn't there, like Santa Cruz, like a skateboard company? Yeah. How did it, they get around that? How yeah, someone said that? they're going to be uh, hauling dirt bikes in this and that oh, makes perfect sense for this. It's yeah. a ute. Yeah, yeah. So check this out on the taillight. Just like an iPhone. Oh, you're, you're in the, hang on, your face. Yeah, there we go. That's in the taillight, designed in California. And this is cool here, eh? Floating roof design, kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there, 
There is, is this the roof rack, so it looks like you'll be able to put accessories on there. Is this on an actual truck chassis, or is it just a Hyundai SUV with a chopped roof? Stretched it's a Tucson. Yeah, it's a it's a Tucson. This is literally a Tucson. This is not uh, body on frame. This is not meant for like rugged off roading. This is just meant for uh, basically city driving, but with the addition of that. So you still have all the practical space inside, but you don't have to like send this thing off road like oh, crazy. But you can. Gra grandmas who like gardening. This oh my god, perfect. this is perfect for grandmas. We love gardening. Yeah. 100%. Actually. <laughs> Can you lock it? Yes. Uh, so technically, as soon as you pull this, which, hang on. It's a bit of a, because Yuri left the rope there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so when you pull this, uh, that's not latched. There we go. So that's latched. So now if I pull this, it's technically locked. Here, close it. I'll lock. I got the key. Okay, you walk away with this so it doesn't accidentally open. Okay, so it's it's locked. So lock. Now try and open the bed. Oh, so you can open the bed. Okay, so. So it's not locking right now. Here, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna lock it again. Try it again. Oh, it's on the inside. There's a there's a yellow thing on there. Oh, okay. Next. No, guys, guys, it does lock. There you go. We were doing it incorrectly. Look, look. Yeah. Guys, the bed liner actually does lock. We were just doing it incorrectly because this is the first time we're looking at this. See? So that actually has no bearing on this. So if you lock this, then this is locked and that's locked. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Okay, is there anything else people need to know? What else do you guys want to know? Will, <laughs> will they make an end model? Probably. Never know. End line, probably. I don't think they'll make an N. Uh, what trims are there? We don't know yet. Do we know anything about trim levels? No. no. Too early to too early to say trims. What do you think of this Santa Cruz logo on the back? Kind of cool. Yeah. Don't hate uh, it. There's bit. no price yet. Price will be coming later as it gets closer to the announcement of the vehicle. Uh, but it's going to be cheaper than a Ridgeline is our, our guess because it kind of has to be because it's smaller. Uh, can it fit a baby seat? Yeah. So we showed you guys earlier. Uh, there's latch points here and the uh, latch points up top and everything. So uh, opinions on this color. I think uh, it I makes like, sense. Like it. It's like, like it. um, it's a it's a different primer uh, it's, than it's like gray. A lot more, it's, it's a like, blue. It's like uh, it's like khaki. Yeah. Non-metallic khaki. Yeah. Well, there's another car that had that. Subaru. Subaru. Yeah. I like it. Here's the front, guys. You know what, though? I need a. The I headlights need... are on. Yeah, so the headlights headlights are off so right now. The first person needs to buy this in yellow. Buy this, wrap it in yellow. Yes. And make the whole bottom silver. Yes. Can we got a Subaru Baja edition where it's <laughs> yellow on top and all the cladding is silver. Uh, the Hyundai people are, are nodding their heads no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the front end looks awesome. And when the headlights are on, it's really cool. So those are the headlights at the bottom. You can see those those turn on, those are your actual headlights. It's cool, eh? Uh, we showed you guys the infotainment earlier, so you can scroll back through this video, but it's basically the same as the um, Tucson, which we're gonna do a video on the infotainment. It's it's all the same as the new Kia Hyundai stuff. It's nice because it's widescreen and like high res, but it sucks that it's all these capacitive touch buttons, but they are surprisingly easy to use. Yep. And especially with this manual shifter, you're gonna be able to just like have your hands here compared to the Tucson, which had the buttons. That's right. And I think this is better for truck people because truck people like handles and like physical stuff. Uh, will this work for hardcore off-roading? Uh, probably not. This this will work for off-roading, but not hardcore. That's our, that's our guess. Just go buy a real truck. Yeah, buy a real truck. Buy a Raptor if you want to go off-road. Um, towing capacity, it's 5,000 pounds. So that's pretty respectable for this type of vehicle. It's pretty small. There's a... Uh, there's no tow hitch on this one. What's that? Interior quality is great. Um, we looked at this in the Tucson. We have a whole, whole video on the Tucson coming soon. It's all good. The only thing we, Yuri and I both don't like is that there's a bunch of gloss black there. There's a bunch of gloss black here. So that's the only thing we don't like. But there's gonna be a, a light option color interior as well in Canada. Okay, so you don't have to get black. Yeah, but I'm sure the piano black will still be piano black. Yeah. But um, I don't know, that's just, people just, you yeah. just keep buying piano black <laughs> stuff. Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, miles per gallon, we don't know. This one's been sitting in idling, so we're not even going to tell you what it is. That, what if I jump in the trunk and see how much it moves up and down? Yeah, you can. Does that affect people like? This is going to be a hit. This is so cool. This, this is cool. Yo, what if you dumped one of these? How cool would that be? That would be really cool. Yeah. Okay, so here's suspension travel with, uh, ooh, 165 pounds. 165 pounds of Yuri. 160 pounds of Yuri. There you go. Looks like you didn't take a jump. <laughs> yeah. Can you pop the hood? Uh, yeah, we could pop the hood again. Can you show us the indicators? Yes, we've already done all that. <laughs> yeah, guys, well, scroll back through this video because we've done all that stuff already. Uh, we have all these attachments here that can uh, slide, which is actually pretty nice and easy. There's the other one. Uh, I feel like that's pretty much it. Oh, pin pin 890. Yo, pin pin. Uh, I kind of missed it if you mentioned it, but does it have the same maximum payload capacity as the Tucson or is it better? Uh, the payload. Is the payload the same as the Tucson? The payload, not the towing. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to look into that for you, but the payload is likely to be higher. So uh, we got some Hyundai people over there that are looking into stuff for us. Is there a spare tire? Yeah. There you go. There's the spare. Also, uh, shout out Pin Pin. He's one of our box test members. Here, you need some help getting up. No, no, I'll keep up. I'll keep up. You ready? You're not going to... You're going to die. Dude, we... we <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, now Yuri's out of commission for the next couple yeah, weeks. My back hurts. Yeah. Uh, show us the gas cap. Okay, that seems to be a popular request. There you go. There's a there's a gas cap. Man, I used to be able to do this all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to be able to do things. Oh, that looks like somebody familiar. Hey, who you in here? <laughs> Your company did. <laughs> We're live right yeah. now, eh? Yeah, this we're live. This is the best. This is, I mean, you, do, you want, awesome. do you want to introduce yourself for uh, everybody on live on YouTube? I really don't, uh, <laughs> but I might as well. Don Romano, president of Hyundai, and big fan of the new Santa Cruz. In fact, it's so big that I'm just going to stay back here for a while and enjoy it. You know, if you want six feet of uh, space, you can get it right here. Right <laughs> you don't even need a mask. There you go. <laughs> How are you good, you? good, good. Awesome. There you go. What do you think? Uh, it looks it's really cool. Really, yeah, it's, fun, it's, huh? it's a lot better in person. Yeah. And I, I like this front end a lot, even though I really like the old front end on the concept. Yeah. But it all it all looks really good. Yeah, and somebody made a good point. The window goes all the way down in the back, which is not a common thing. Or uncommon. What? It makes us different. And as you know, the way I play golf, we're very uncommon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once it opens up, yeah, we'll go golfing. Weeks. <laughs> hey, we're actually going to have a vaccination center. Ooh, here. there so you go. Nice. So anyone looking to get vaccinated, here's a pro tip. Uh, Hyundai in uh, Markham. <laughs> no? No, not. No pro tips. No, no vaccination no, clinics. That, that is not a thing. Yeah, I think that's right? it. Thanks for joining us, Don. <laughs> Should we try to end it with a door close at the same time? Uh, we could try. We'll just, we'll just we'll rest it in the grass and we'll just do it. Yeah, and, and yes, for the record, that is the president of the company. And he's a very cool guy. And uh, we went golfing with him. We're all bad golfers, all three of us. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going to end this with a door close. And um, then we'll end the video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully we get this in one try. It's a lot of grass. I'm just gonna rip some of this off. Sorry guys, I don't wanna make anyone else hold my camera, so. All right. I'm Jacob, I'm Yuri. and we're not going for a drive. First drive. I think you should run over it. It would that would have <laughs> that would we're, we're not allowed to drive it though. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you.